Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So today I will show you exclusive latest method to bypass the MDM lock screen on the all the latest MacBook including the MacBook M3, M2, M1 on the latest macOS Sequoia. Even if you are on macOS Sonoma, Ventura or any other version it will work. So all the M series chipset MacBook are supported and if you have other lower MacBooks like MacBook T2 Intel chipset you can try this video. I already made two videos for the Intel MacBook MDM permanent unlock method so you can watch it links are in description. So without further delay let's start this process. Now first step you have to complete restore and wipe your Mac from the recovery and simply erase the SSD, create the new partition and install the fresh copy of macOS on your system and come on this MDM lock screen. I have already installed the fresh copy of macOS on my macbook so I am skipping that part. Next you have to put your macbook into the recovery mode so for that you just need to completely shut down your macbook. After that you have to long press the power button and hold until you will see this macbook recovery screen and the option button will appear like this. Now you have to click on that and it will boot your macbook in the recovery mode. Now next you will see this language setup screen. Just continue further and here is the macOS recovery. Here you will see all the option to erase or reinstall the Mac operating system and the other stuff. Now as I mentioned earlier before doing this MDM process and the registration make sure you completely wipe or reinstall the fresh copy of macOS from the disk utility option. You need to just go there and select your SSD just erase it create a new partition and install the fresh copy and after that just load the recovery again and come on this stage. I have already done that part so I am just skipping it. So now next you have to register your macbook serial number in the server so that you can use this method. So for that you just need to copy your macbook serial number. You can get the macbook serial number from the backside of your macbook. Now to register the serial number it's very simple. You just need to send me your macbook serial number on my personal telegram and I will register it for you. For the latest prices or need any help or any other information you can contact me there and register your macbook and it's instant registration so after the registration you can instantly use this process now once your macbook is registered you just need to click on this safari option and click on continue it will open this web page now from here in the search box you can just go to the google or you can directly search just a tech. After that you will see all the information about my pages. Now from here you will get this blog link. You can click on that or I will display the direct blog link address on the screen so you can directly go there. After that you have to select this option that is the MacBook M3 M2 M1 bypass. So just click on that. Now it will open this web page. Just scroll it down and you will see all the steps. So first step we have already done. We have registered the device and second step is also done the third step is done and fourth step we are already in the recovery mode now next we have to perform the sixth and seventh step so for that just copy this command in the seventh step and you have to follow the sixth one that is the open the terminal and just paste this command so just copy it Now go to utilities and click on the terminal and just simply paste this command and hit on enter. The command will only work if your serial is registered. So first register the serial number and then only command will work. Now simply wait for the process. You will see some progress on the terminal. So let's wait for it to get complete. It will not take much time. All right, now it's done and in the end you will see the cleanup and exiting and the terminal will quit after that you can just close it and just simply 
Restart your MacBook. Alright, so it's rebooting now. Let's wait for it. Alright, so moment after and it's here. Boom guys, we have successfully bypassed the MDM lock screen on the latest MacBook M3, M2, M1 chipset on any MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac, Mac Studio, all the silicon chipset are supported. Now next here you will see a demo user guest account is already created and it asks you for a pin. So just enter 1234 and it will take you in. Alright, so we are on the setup page, so simply set up the Mac. Okay, so welcome to the Mac and you can see that we have successfully bypassed the MDM lock screen on the latest Mac OS Sequoia. It works all the MacBook models having the silicon chipset. Everything will work smoothly. It's a super fast and easy process so everyone can do it. So if you have similar kind of issue, you can register your MacBook and easily do this process. And this method also support the OTA update. So even if you get any new update, you can easily do it from the settings and MDM lock screen will not come and you can reboot the MacBook easily. Everything will be work like a normal Mac and just don't reset your Mac MacBook or erase from the recovery otherwise you have to run the terminal command again and you can easily do it in the same registration as rebypass is free and for the demo account you can just delete it and create your new admin account and then everything will work smooth and for the same if you have a t2 MacBook model on the MDM lock screen you can watch this video as the t2 MacBook has the option to unlock the MDM permanent you can see the permanent removal so you can watch this video links are in description so that's all for today's video session i hope you gain some knowledge and enjoying my content if yes please hit the like button and if you're new here please subscribe to my channel for more cool updates like this i will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out